Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. This is Laurie Schaller, the Manager for, of Financial Empowerment here at National Disability Institute. And I work in the Assistive Technology Loan Program. Next slide. During today's session, as you have questions or experience technical difficulties, please use the Q&A box to send any questions you have during today's webinar to my attention. If you are listening by phone and are not logged into the webinar, you may also ask questions by emailing me at lschaller, S-C-H-A-L-L-E-R, at ndi-inc.org. And this session will be recorded so that people can uh, participate at a later time and hear the session you know, multiple times. Next slide. So here at National Disability Institute, we envision a society in which people who have a disability have the same opportunities to achieve financial stability and independence as people who do not have a disability. And our mission is to collaborate and innovate to build a better financial future for people who have a disability and their family members as well. Next slide. So we have an assistive technology loan program here at National Disability Institute, and we received a grant through the U.S. Department of Education's Rehabilitation Services to provide services that include outreach and promotional webinars like today's session, really spotlighting standing wheelchairs and financial education. And we provide guidance on spending plan development, referrals to financial counseling, or other programs that can help people get the assistive technology that they need. Next slide. So what is assistive technology? It is any technology or an accommodation or accessibility feature that can help a person perform an action that a person who does not have a disability can typically do. And AT ranges from apps, hearing and vision aids, smart home systems, smartphones, stair climbers, standing wheelchairs, home or vehicle modifications, adaptive recreational equipment, accessible housing pods, business equipment, and more. So you're welcome to go to our website here at National Disability Institute to view spotlights covering many different forms of assistive technology. And we're really trying to capture information about the newest types of assistive technology available. Next slide. So today we will be spotlighting per mobile and standing wheelchair options. And we will discuss how a standing wheelchair can be life changing a review of standing wheelchair options, and how to know if a standing wheelchair is right for you. And we will also cover possible funding for assistive technology, including the permobile standing wheelchairs. Next slide. Great, so today's spotlight is on permobile. Um, and next slide, I'd like to introduce Eleni Halkiotis. And Eleni is a graduate of the University of Sciences in Philadelphia and has been practicing occupational therapy since 2005. And she really specializes in the seating and mobility services. And she has been a therapist uh, for individuals who have multiple sclerosis. And um, thank you for joining us today, Eleni. Thank you very much for having me. And yes, I appreciate everybody for logging in to learn a little more about Promobile's F5 Corpus VS. For the presentation, I'm going to keep my camera off so that 
the attention can be put towards the slides and towards our interpreter services. Next slide, please. I am a regional clinical education manager for Permobile and Permobile also has equipment representatives around the world. If you're not familiar with the Permobile representative for your area, you can find them on our website by going to www.hub.permobile.com slash sales dash locator and entering your zip code. Before we begin, I'd love to find out who we have on today's webinar. Ashley, can you please launch poll number one? So the first poll includes, who do we have in the audience today? An occupational therapist, a physical therapist, an ATP supplier, a user of assistive technology, and um, a possible funding source for assistive technology or other. And it looks like we have about 15% of the attendees who are occupational therapists, 23% who are physical therapists, 4% who are ATP suppliers, 8% who are end users, uh, um, one attendee who is part of a funding source, and then about half of the participants fall in another category. So thank you very much, Ashley, for launching the poll. Next slide. To begin, I'd like to introduce you to Permobile's founder, Dr. Per Uden. Dr. Uden was a physician in Sweden who over 50 years ago became frustrated that he couldn't find wheelchairs he felt met the needs of his patients. As a result, he literally took the matter into his own hands and in the basement of a hospital, Dr. Per Uden built the world's first fully integrated power wheelchair. And this statement from Dr. Per Uden has become the mission statement of his namesake company, Permobile, that every person with a disability has the right to have his or her disability compensated as far as possible by aids with the same technical standard as those we all use in our everyday lives. Permobile follows this mission in every product we create, including with the F5 Corpus VS Power Standing Wheelchair. Next slide, please. In this webinar, we're going to talk about why people stand. Then we'll introduce the Permobile F5 Corpus VS Power Wheelchair, going into detail on various features. Afterward, we'll share some exciting news about the new Medicare Group 3 billing code option. And finally, we'll take a few minutes to discuss um, any questions you have regarding the F5 Corpus VS. Next slide. The Permobile F5 Corpus VS is a power wheelchair that includes six power seating functions in one. And this allows the client to relieve pressure, reposition themselves and reach in a range of ways that are being shown in the video rendering now. And we're going to discuss them in the coming slides. Next slide, please. Permobile has pro been producing power wheelchairs since 1977. 45 years of industry experience starting back in 1977 when the Bee Gees released their Saturday Night Live hit, Staying Alive, and Jimmy Carter was the president of the United States, and Elvis, the king of rock and roll, unfortunately died of a heart attack. This 45 years of experience has really given Permobile 
a significant strength in developing and continuing to refine the product that we now call the F5 Corpus VS. Next slide, please. Why is it important for people to stand? Next slide, please. There are many medical and functional benefits of standing. As far as the cardiovascular and respiratory systems are concerned, breathing is improved in the standing position. Standing up can open the chest cavity and allow for greater lung expansion involved in breathing. Standing, and specifically the movements of standing up and sitting down throughout the day, improves circulation. And improved circulation is a major key to reducing pedal edema, which is a concern for many wheelchair riders whose legs are resting in a dependent position most of the time. Next slide. Standing benefits bowel and bladder function as well. Studies show that standing reduces the risk of urinary tract infections and decreases the incidence of developing kidney stones or recurrence of kidney stones. Regarding bowel function, the act of sitting to standing literally stretches the colon and that stretching of the colon triggers bowel motility to stimulate a bowel movement. Many full-time wheelchair riders are at risk of fecal impaction and suffer from recurrent, or, um, recurrent urinary tract infections, which is why it's so important to keep in mind how standing benefits both the bowel and bladder systems. Next slide. Bone health. Many wheelchair riders who are non-ambulatory develop disuse osteoporosis, resulting in lower bone strength and bone mineral density. Fortunately, research shows us that standing and bearing weight through the lower extremities promotes maintenance of bone mineral density, which is very important to reduce the risk of fractures. People with osteoporosis are at higher risk for suffering from fractures and by strengthening the bones, increasing and or maintaining bone mineral density through standing, we can certainly minimize the risk of fractures for this population. Static standing frames do exist, but studies have shown us that more frequent bouts of standing for shorter durations have a larger benefit for maintaining bone mineral density then do fewer bouts of standing, even if those bouts are for longer durations. Having the power standing function integrated into one's power wheelchair allows clients to stand up with the push of a button or just using their joystick while they're already in their power wheelchair. Conversely, a static standing frame requires the client to be transferred into that system by a caregiver. Those transfers can be very challenging. And as a result, many clients do not get into their standing device even once a day, which limits their ability to participate in a standing program that could truly benefit their respiratory and cardiovascular systems, bowel and bladder functioning, and bone health. Next slide. Standing up also improves range of motion, especially in the lower extremity joints, which are mainly posturing in flexed positions during upright wheelchair sitting. Standing allows the hip joints and knee joints to extend, improving range of motion. Standing has also been shown to reduce spasticity in children and adults. And the more frequently standing is performed, the longer the effects of spasticity reduction exist. Years ago, 
it was thought that having contractures would be a contraindication to standing, meaning if clients had some joint contractures in their legs, they would not be permitted to stand. However, now contractures are deemed a precaution and not a contraindication, which is why it's vital to use a power standing wheelchair with programmable power seat function actuators that can allow the standing sequence to be programmed to work within the client's available range of motion in their leg joints. Next slide, please. Standing up is the most natural manner of relieving pressure. We know that wheelchair riders are at an increased risk of developing skin breakdown because in the seated position, 50% of the body's weight is being bore over only 8% of the body's surface, which is another reason why it's so important to have a power standing function integrated into the power wheelchair base to allow clients to stand up throughout the day for pressure relief. Although some other power seating functions offer pressure redistribution, like posterior tilt and space redistributes pressure away from the buttocks and posterior thighs and onto the back. However, standing is the only power seating function that offers pressure mm -hmm. relief from the buttocks and posterior thighs and back simultaneously, which greatly reduces the risk of pressure injury development. Next slide, please. Performing mobility-related activities of daily living in a standing position offers functional benefits, especially in the performance of common activities like donning and doffing clothing, cooking a meal, doing personal care, using the toilet, going to school, working, participating in life roles, and participating in social outings. Ashley, please launch poll question number two. The question is the benefits of standing. What are some medical benefits of standing? Improve bone health, improve bowel and bladder functioning, increased pressure redistribution, can make it easier to take deep breaths, and all of the above. So if you're on a smartphone, perhaps, and you can't see the polling question, feel free to put your answer in the chat box as well. Thank you. Looks like most um, attendees have answered all of the above, which is correct. That standing can benefit um, improving bone health, bowel and bladder functioning, pressure redistribution, and can make it easier to take deep breaths. Thank you very much for participating in this poll. Next slide, please. Now we're going to talk about the many um, benefits of Permobile's F5 Corpus VS power wheelchair and why it's an excellent choice for power wheelchair riders looking to stand. Next slide, please. The Permobile F5 Corpus VS 
offers a range of benefits to the end user, allowing them to stand without compromise. We're going to review these benefits one by one in the coming slides. Next slide, please. Best in class base performance. The Permobile F5 Corpus VS has a front wheel drive wheelbase. Front wheel drive means that the drive wheel or the large wheel is in the front of the base. That front positioning of the drive wheel really maximizes client's proximity to surfaces, enabling tight navigation around corners and over obstacles. In this front wheel drive configuration, the client is sitting on top of the suspension springs with ideal center of gravity and weight distribution between the front and rear wheels. The seating system seamlessly integrates into the base with the chassis. Next slide, please. Additionally, the best in-class base performance offers ample lower extremity positioning options. Since there are no rotating casters in the front of the chair, limiting foot placement to space. Permobile's ESP, or Enhanced Steering Performance, is a tracking technology that really enables the chair to track straight without much fishtailing from the back of the chair. The F5 Corpus VS comes with Group 24 batteries, offering the greatest travel range capability. Next slide, please. Here we have two video renderings without sound demonstrating how a front wheel drive power wheelchair makes a 90 degree left turn to the sink and compares that turn to a mid wheel drive chair base. Here with the front wheel drive chair, they make that turn in a single smooth maneuver. Whereas the mid wheel drive chair, when they take their turn from the toilet to the sink does not get them to be as close to the center of the sink because of the mid wheel drive configuration. That means the mid wheel drive power wheelchair rider will need to make more corrective maneuvers to wiggle on over to the sink as opposed to a single 90 degree turn made in a front wheel drive base. Next slide, please. Here we have three video renderings of three different power wheelchair drive configurations, all making a right hand 90 degree turn down the hall and into the bathroom. Ashley, you can click on the first one. In this video, we have the front wheel drive chair initiating a 90 degree turn and they make that turn when the drive wheel is at the door frame to create a nice tight 90 degree turn into the bathroom. You can play the second one, Ashley, please. In this second video, we have a mid wheel drive chair initiating that 90 degree turn, but due to the location of the drive wheel in the center of the base, they need to initiate the 90 degree turn in the center of the door frame. And you can play the third video now. In our third example, we have a rear wheel drive power wheelchair attempting to make that same 90 degree turn down the hall and into the bathroom. As we show here, the rear wheel drive chair cannot turn going forward and to the right into the bathroom because of the configuration of the wheelbase. Instead, this rear wheel drive chair would have to back into the bathroom and driving backwards while turning is very challenging 
for many wheelchair riders. Next slide, please. Some additional benefits of a front wheel drive base is that having the front wheels in the front, um, the large wheels in the front, correction, enables improved navigation over obstacles because the drive wheels have a larger surface area to traverse those obstacles as compared to the smaller surface area of front casters found in mid wheel and rear wheel drive chairs. Front wheel drive chairs work where the motors pull you up over the obstacles, where other configuration chairs have motors that need to push you over the obstacles. With only two sets of wheels on the ground, the front wheel drive wheels and rear casters are directly, um, with only two sets of wheels on the ground, when the client hits an obstacle that they're driving over, they only have to go through two bumps, the bump for the front set of wheels and the bump for the rear set of wheels. However, if a client hits that same obstacle while riding in a mid-wheel drive configuration power wheelchair. They hit the bump three times, front casters, drive wheels, and rear casters, which can create additional vibration transmitted up to the client. Also, in a front wheel drive configuration power wheelchair, the client is seated over the suspension springs which can work to reduce vibration transmission up to the seating system. Next slide. In the F5 Corpus VS, the batteries are strategically positioned in the center of the base so that the heavy weight of the batteries is used advantageously to promote stability and ideal weight distribution. Next slide, please. Here is a video of a man riding in his permobile power wheelchair in a rural area with his wife walking alongside. The man is riding the power wheelchair over grass, gravel, and a range of surfaces. As we play this video, the man describes his experiences riding the Permobile F5 Corpus VS, especially in relation to the suspension system. Ashley, you can play the video, please. I'm not sure that if you have some audio for that, Ashley. I'm so sorry, let me try that again. Fine. So I noticed that the suspension does a great with chairs that have a tougher or harder suspension. I've noticed more muscle spasms brought on by hitting bumps and going over rough terrain. My permobile, I noticed that the suspension does a great job of keeping me in a comfortable and stable position from the moment that I get into the chair until I'm ready to get out of the chair. Thank you. The enhanced steering performance module is in the base of the power wheelchair and is customizable and programmable to each client to provide improved driving properties based on if the client is driving with a joystick or head array or other 
alternative drive control. Next slide. The way the F5 Corpus VS stands up and sits back down is programmable. And two standing sequences can be programmed. The video being played now gives some examples of how these standing sequences can be programmed. This fully programmable standing can help clients with limitations in range of motion, blood pressure regulation concerns like orthostatic hypotension, a need to be in certain positions for specific functional tasks, and to meet their comfort needs in standing. Next slide. The Corpus VS power elevating leg rests articulate with eight inches of vertical travel. Programming these articulating power foot plates helps clients maintain their positioning in the wheelchair throughout the range of seating system movement to keep them from sinking into the system when they stand up. Next slide. The F5 Corpus VS is equipped with the full range of power seating functions that power wheelchair riders have come to expect from their technology. This includes 50 degrees of posterior tilt and space and 45 degrees of anterior tilt and space, 180 degrees of recline, leg rests that elevate from 90 degrees to 180 degrees, and active height seat elevation up to 14 inches. Permobile offers memory seating functions and independent repositioning mode, which can be programmed with these power seating functions. The F5 Corpus VS, next slide, offers truly functional driving speeds in both seat elevate and in standing. Users can drive at 1.7 miles an hour while standing and up to 3.2 miles an hour in active height seat elevation. This enables clients to use both seat elevate and standing functionally to perform mobility related activities of daily living from more ergonomic standing and elevated positions. Next slide. We all know that change is the only constant. The good news is the F5 Corpus VS can change and adapt as the end user does. The programmable stand sequences, plus the ability to change the back support and leg position while in standing, plus the growth capability, allow the F5 Corpus VS to meet the changing needs of the user year after year. Next slide. We are now excited to announce that Permobile offers the F5 Corpus VS in Medicare Group 3 and Medicare Group 4 options. This makes Stand Without Compromise available for a larger range of end users with varying funding sources. Next slide. Both the Group 3 and Group 4 options offer several of the same benefits, including best in-class base performance, 
fully customizable standing sequences, articulating power footplates, functional drive speeds in standing, a full range of power tilt, recline, and leg rest elevation, 14 inches of active height seat elevate, and optional no charge accessories, including an LED light kit, USB charger, and my Permobile app connectivity. From there, the group four option offers several added benefits in speed, warranty, maintenance plan, and base color options, which we'll cover in the coming slides. Next slide. Regarding speed, the group three option drives up to 5.8 miles an hour, whereas the speed package for the group four option drives up to 7.5 miles an hour. Next slide. Another difference between the group three and the group four options is the length of the manufacturer's warranty. The group three option has a one year warranty and the group four option has a two year warranty. Next slide. The group four option includes a preventative maintenance plan at no cost, which encompasses access to an annual multi-point inspection performed upon request by the end user and by a Permobile employee. Following that inspection, the Permobile employee will share that report with the client's equipment provider to order equipment for repairs as needed. And also included is a one-time replacement of wear and tear items typically not covered under warranty, like torn arm pads or torn seat upholstery. And I see a question that popped into the chat box now. So um, I will go ahead and um, address that. Can you explain what you mean by the Medicare Group 3 option? Medicare is the largest payer of wheelchair equipment in the United States. And Medicare categorizes wheelchairs into groups. They have a group four power wheelchair, but for many clients, Medicare does not cover a group four power wheelchair. But there is much more coverage for a group three power wheelchair, which Medicare says is appropriate for in the home use. For many years before 2022, Permobile's F5 Corpus VS power wheelchair was only available as a group four option. That meant that clients with Medicare as their only insurance or with a different insurance that followed Medicare guidelines would often not cover the F5 Corpus VS because of how it was coded as a group four only chair. But this year, Permobile has created a version of the F5 Corpus VS that's billable in a Medicare group three option, which means that people who have group three funding but do not have group four funding can still get the F5 Corpus VS. And of note, to order any wheelchair, there is usually a large amount of paperwork that needs to be submitted to insurance and they need to approve it, even if that product falls within a covered item in the insurance's um, guidelines, there still is an individual approval process for each wheelchair. 
And uh, Mark Dixon, I see your question about WC19 compliant. And um, if you can send me your email, I can certainly send you information about the transit um, options for this chair. Thank you. Next slide. The Permobile F5 Corpus VS is available in a range of colors shown here. Midnight black, Arctic white, violet, sky blue, aqua blue, spring green, canary yellow, sunset orange, chili red, flamingo pink, platinum silver, bronze, and gold. The group four option offers a one-time color change. Next slide. Several hydrographic color options are available and come for free with the group four version. These hydrographic options are called carbon fiber, mossy oak breakup country, CDG poly, water lily, fireball, midnight patriot, and American liberty. Next slide. Stand for more function and life participation. Next slide. Standing offers functional benefits to increase clients' level of independence with a range of daily activities, from hand washing to toileting. Once in a standing position, Wheelchair riders can often complete their daily routines faster and require less assistance from a caregiver. This really increases their ability to participate in play activities, work tasks, and commonly, we've heard clients are joining choirs because they're able to phonate and sing better once in an upright standing position. Next slide. Standing has a range of psychosocial benefits as well. Wheelchair riders using power standing functions have reported an increase in their self image and interaction with others and say they physically feel healthier when they're standing. Ashley, please launch poll number three. And this poll is about Medicare. True or false, the Permobile F5 Corpus VS Standing Power Wheelchair can be ordered in a Medicare group four and or a Medicare group three configuration. And we've got a true or a false. So yes, um, almost everyone got this one. The Permobile F5 Corpus VS Standing Power Wheelchair now can be ordered both as a Medicare Group 3 or as a Medicare Group 4 Power Wheelchair. Thank you, next slide. In summary, the Permobile F5 Corpus VS Power Wheelchair is now available in Medicare Group 3 and Group 4 coding options. This allows users to truly stand without compromise since it's equipped with a full range of power seating functions that all operate within their full range using programmable actuators. 
The Permobile F5 Corpus VS supports two programmable standing sequences so clients can come to a stand and sit back down in the manner that's most comfortable for them. To learn more and schedule a demo in your clinic, contact your local Permobile representative who you can find online by going to www.hub.permobile.com slash sales dash locator, then entering your zip code. Next slide. Thank you very much for logging on to learn more about the Permobile F5 Corpus VS Standing Power Wheelchair. Now I'm going to pass it back to Lori, who's going to speak to you about NDI, the National Disability Institute. Great, and we had a couple more questions that came to mind, um, Eleni. When you okay. talk about the battery life, how far can a person expect to go in their corpus uh, VS? Yeah, great question. So with a healthy battery that's being charged regularly, it will take you a full day of driving. Um, some activities that pull more juice from the batteries than others are using power seating functions. So every time they, you know, stand up, sit down, tilt, elevate the leg rest, that uses a little more battery power than the um, uh, than just driving on a flat surface. But I want to say it goes about 18 miles on a full charge, which is more than anyone you know generally walks in a day. It'll it'll take you um, a full day of driving. And another consideration is the terrain. If you're riding the power wheelchair in a very hilly environment, that takes more battery power than riding on smooth flat surfaces. That's great. And another question, you talked about a one or two year warranty. What mm -hmm. is the usable life of this Corpus VS F5? Yeah, so um, a lot of insurances cover them for use for say like five to seven years and routine maintenance and repairs is to be expected because it's a rolling moving piece of machinery. So during those five to seven years, it's normal to get the batteries replaced, maybe after two, three years, get the tires replaced when they start to go bald. Um, sometimes people wear out their seat cushion. If it's maybe all foam, sometimes it starts to flatten out, um, but should last you. Uh, the, the equipment itself, if properly maintained, is expected to last five to seven years. Great. And then another question for you. So we understand that Medicare will, will cover the unit. Um, we understand that Medicaid often follows the Medicare funding. Is Medicaid making the purchase of these standing wheelchairs as well? Yes. Okay, great. And how about private insurance? Are, are like 25% of the the private insurance companies covering this or what are you seeing? A lot of times private insurances have a higher coverage rate than um, uh, through Medicare. But honestly, we just launched this group three option a few months ago. So we don't have you know, as much data um, to go off as because before we just had the Medicare group four. Okay, and we have one more question that came in too. What are the contraindications to using a power standing wheelchair? So is it not right, for example, for some people? That is a decision to be made by the client's doctor. The doctor needs to clear the patient for standing. And some of the tests the doctor runs um, include bone mineral density tests, checking how strong their leg bones are to tolerate standing up. If it's a client who was able-bodied and recently sustained an injury, um, 
And as an able-bodied person, they were walking and they had very good bone mineral density. Usually they're cleared to stand right away. But if it's a client who's been a wheelchair rider for 25 years and they haven't stood in 25 years, there might be more um, things that the doctor wants them to clear before they would be permitted to standing. Perhaps um, you know certain interventions to work on improving their bone mineral density, or maybe their bone mineral density is okay, but they they get dizzy when they stand up. They might be suggested to participate in a standing exercise program to practice working on standing um, while they're in the process of getting the standing wheelchair approved. Okay, that's so great to know. Okay, um, I wanted to move forward and talk about um, other options of funding for a standing wheelchair. So, um, you know, we're really focused towards individuals who have a disability working to their fullest ability here at National Disability Institute. And um, so an individual who is interested in employment can ask their state vocational rehabilitation service agency, the Commission for the Blind and the Department of Labor or the employer if they may consider making the purchase of uh, the standing wheelchair to help that person who has either um, education goals that lead to employment or that individual is actively employed now and those links are provided here in this slide. And next slide. So we talked about Medicaid. There is a specific type of Medicaid that is really uh, designed specifically about that individual's needs and that's called Medicaid waiver. So we have links here in this slide about the New Jersey a community waiver program and the New York Medicaid waiver program that may allow for the purchase of any type of assistive technology, but specifically about the standing wheelchairs or the F5 Corpus VS. Next slide. So we understand that many people who have a disability have resource limits depending upon uh, the benefit program that they may be participating in. For example, SSI and many types of Medicaid have resource limits that allow a person to only save up to $2,000 or a couple to save up to only $3,000. So how does the person like save money to be able to make this purchase for themselves if their insurance will not allow for this type of assistive technology. So for people who are working and receive SSI and or SSDI benefits, the Social Security Administration provides work supports for those beneficiaries and one is called the impairment related work expense where the person is allowed in many key cases to keep their benefits for a longer period of time or at an increased level so that while that person is working, they can purchase the assistive technology that they need for their job. And then um, there is also the plan for achieving self-support or PASS plan that if that person needs, for example, a standing wheelchair, they can apply through Social Security Administration for a PASS plan that again, as that person is pursuing employment and or education that leads to employment, that they would pay for the assistive technology they need and be able to continue to stay in pay status for their SSI and or SSDI for a longer period of time while they are making that purchase of assistive technology. And then for individuals who have had a disability that began prior to age 26, there is a savings account available for anyone across the United States. And that's called uh, the ABLE 
account, Achieve a Better Life Experience, and that's available through the ABLE Act. Next slide. And so um, there are accounts available in New Jersey and New York um, for ABLE accounts. And we, we mentioned New York and New Jersey because our AT, our Assistive Technology Loan Program here at NDI, we cover New York State and New Jersey. So these ABLE savings accounts allow people to save up to $100,000 that is not counted towards the SSI resource limit but otherwise an ABLE account owner is allowed to save up to that ABLE plan's uh, limit. And any type of Medicaid and or Medicare, for example, does not count any of the money saved in that ABLE account as a countable resource. So that really allows people to save money and invest money that will grow so that they can purchase the assistive technology that they need and meet other needs as well. So um, family and friends can contribute monies into that ABLE account. And when those contributions are made directly into that ABLE account, that is not countable income for that individual. And a person who works, who has an ABLE account and does not have contributions made to a retirement account that calendar year, from their employment earnings, they can contribute up to an additional $12,880 into their ABLE account to help them, again, afford assistive technology and, for example, transportation to be able to purchase a home. So there is free information and a whole nother series of webinars specifically about ABLE accounts at the ABLE National Resource Center. And you're welcome to use this link to uh, make your way to that uh, website to view all the information and resources available. Next slide. So like I said, the ABLE account, the funds in that account can be used for assistive technology to help pay for out-of-pocket education expenses, to help pay for food and shelter, to help pay for rent or the purchase of a home or to make a home accessible, to modify a, a home uh, for transportation needs, for employment and training supports, um, healthcare expenses, legal fees. And when that ABLE account owner passes away, the funds in that account may be used to cover funeral and burial expenses as well. Next slide. So we partner with local banks in New York State and New Jersey to provide loans up to $30,000 or more um, to help people purchase the assistive technology that they need. The interest rate is six or four percent. A person does not need to have a high credit score to be eligible for one of our loans. This can in fact be a credit building um, activity for a person who does not have uh, a credit score. So we can coordinate the loan so that you can use the Social Security Administration work supports in addition to an ABLE account and the loan program to be able to make your purchase. And um, we have information posted on our website about preparing a spending plan that is part of our AT loan application process. And as a result, people are certain that they can afford the assistive technology that they are purchasing. And that is demonstrated by our 100% repayment rate to date. Okay, next slide. So we have resource guides to help you find funding or other types of assistive technology. For example, there are uh, AT demonstration sites 
here in New York State and New Jersey where you can try out assistive technology to know that that will work for you. And that information is posted in our AT resource guides. Next slide. For those um, who would like to meet with a free financial counselor or coach, Services are provided virtually, so you can meet with them wherever you live in the United States and address your uh, interest in, in developing a positive credit history or addressing credit issues that you may have concerns about. And that's available through the NDI Financial Resilience Center. And the link is here on this slide. Next slide. And please give me a call with any questions that you have following uh, this presentation. My number is 202-449-9521. And we're going to uh, put up some more polling questions for you. Um, and while you're addressing those questions, I'll provide a little more information too. So question number one is, what information from today was most helpful? Question number two, how do you think Permobile will help you or your customers who need mobility aids to be more independent in their life or their work? Question number three, do you need help finding a job? Question number four, what other questions do you have for NDI or about the Permobile F5 Corpus VS power standing wheelchair? Question five, what type of assistive technology would you like more information about? And six, do you want to schedule a presentation for your agency or community organization with either Permobile or National Disability Institute. And I wanted to share with you, we have another uh, webinar event spotlighting um, American Sign Language services that are available 24 seven. And that event is taking place May 19th, again at 12 o'clock noon Easter time. And you are welcome to register for that event. We will have that posted on our website within the next week. And we thank you for participating today. If you could please complete the uh, polling questions. And um, so it looks like um, we have addressed all the questions that have come in. Eleni, uh, did you have any more information you wanted to share with people? I just put in the link to the Permobile F5VS order form, um, and I can put my email in the chat box as well in case anyone would like to send me a, a direct message. Wonderful. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Eleni, for your great information. And again, I hope your phone is uh, ringing off the wall here at each of your, um, your dealer sites. And uh, please uh, explore your options for becoming more independent within your community um, by using um, the assistive technology that will best meet your needs. Thank you again. Have a great day, everyone.